Hey everyone, I'm really sorry that this video is, is technically a day late. Um, just packing for coming home and stuff got in the way. I didn't have any ideas to, to talk about. Um, but in case you haven't noticed, I'm home. Uh, in tomorrow's video, you will actually see me coming home. It's kind of confusing, but uh, the way these things work, I'd rather um, at least put out yesterday's video as if it was on time. Um, but I thought that I'd just do a quick little tour of the house because, you know, I'm, I'm home. I haven't done a house tour in a while. Um, and this time, like this time around, it's going to be a little bit Christmassy because we've got uh, most of the Christmas decorations up. It's going to be good. And uh, yeah, uh, I think we've got to start off with the most important thing in the house. With the dogs. Hello, dogs. And that's all the introduction. No, it's not. No, it's not the introduction. You need more of an introduction. No, you fluffo. And don't you fluffo too. Oh my goodness, <coughs> nose kisses. Yeah. Your breath stinks, melon. And no, I'm not going to play. I'd have to do a house tour, but I'll play later. So since we're with the dogs, I, I'll start in this room. This is the long room, uh, which is called the long room because, in case you haven't noticed, it's very fucking long. It's huge. Why all built in one go as an extension to the house. And uh, Christmassy wise, it is decorated with little uh, polar bears and some nice tea light holders, which change from yellow for this doorway uh, to green for this doorway. We also have a couple of Christmas cream jugs <laughs> with tinsel in them uh, and uh, flowers, they're not particularly Christmassy, but on the table we have a big jumble of unsorted Christmas goodness, so if I get the light on, uh, we've got some Christmas cards, we've got a Christmas bowl of Christmas um, potpourri, that's the word, I got it right, I, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so cultured, uh, also got some cups, a lot of placemats, like, oh, a hell of a lot of placemats and lots of festive candles and napkin wreaths uh, and a, a cardboard box because why not no cardboard tree why not make a tree out of cardboard when you've already got a big Christmas tree going through into the kitchen we've got another Christmas tree but this one is uh, decorated with tiny little Christmas figurines which is nice some more dolls uh, we have a Christmas calendar where you build a house every day it's definitely not up to date uh, we have a little Nativity scene there, where the stable is built with little bricks, real, real bricks, but has a piece of paper for a roof. That's not very realistic. A nice selection of uh, Christmas cards and Christmas music, which we, I like to wake up to in the morning. It's really nice. Uh, and uh, Ollie, Sam and I have our own Christmas placemats on the breakfast bar, which is uh, rather tasty. We have Christmas fridge magnets. We have Christmas tea towels, uh, uh, Christmas mugs, uh, more Christmas tea towel. Uh, Christmas, fancy Christmas mugs, look at those, those, those are very, very premium. Also something about our house is we don't like empty door handles, we like all our door handles to have something on, so they've all got our, our Christmas tree decorations that we, which we haven't put on the tree this year, like we have a big selection which we choose from every year and we end up with spares. So we've got a few things hanging on doors like these jingly jangly jingle bells, um, and all the stuff we don't know where to put which we, we keep for when people end up coming around for Christmas meals and stuff with like these big tins for Christmas candies and sweets and stuff. Uh, we have, well, Christmas oven gloves, napkins, mugs here, uh, more place mats because we have a lot of people come around. A Christmas picture made by Sam, which is pretty terrible, but uh, it, it's uh, nostalgic, so we hang it up. Uh, this is the utility as a whole, nothing really here, and dog cages and stuff, but in the bathroom. <laughs> Again, jingly jangly bells, but we also keep the bathroom festive. So we have this nice tea light holder here with a deer. Um, we have special Christmas hand, that's not Christmas hand lotion, some more deer here, and a Christmas towel. This is the, under the stairs where we have some little Santa's little house, a, like glowy, glittery Christmas tree thing, uh, some pine cones painted gold, <laughs> some more tinsel in a, bar, in a bowl, and some tiny pine cones. But that is where magic happens, our lovely Christmas tree. I know it's a bit dark in this room, I'm sorry, but I'm trying to keep it nice and dimly lit because that, that brings out the colour of the, 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 the plain lights, you know, the plain, plain coloured lights. But we've got like some little figurines, the Christmas tree looks lovely and very minimalist this year, a little star on top. Um, we have some more little Christmassy things like, like these Russian uh, Santas and, and travellers, Sherpas, I don't know. Uh, some more Christmassy pots of fur cones, because why not? One can never have too many fur cones. Um, no presents under the tree yet. 
Uh, they will be slowly conglomerating under there. Other things in the house, we, uh, in the hallway, we have a liquor cabinet with lots and lots of um, cassis syrup. Which no one drinks apart from my granddad. Uh, this is the study where we have <laughs> weird dolls, an elephant called Henry, a, a Mac, a new printer which I've never seen before, it's pretty pretty, a desk, lots of files and folders, and um, a window that the whole public can see me through right now. Ooh, we have some Christmas crackers. Uh, coming through to the garage, this is the garage, nothing really happens in here, but we've got a drum kit uh, and bikes. So, and it's where the majority of our extra Christmas food is stored before we bring it out and scoff it all. But also up there, we do have like some fairy lights. Are they plugged in? I could like make it very Christmas here. Oh, oh, now this, this is Christmas in a nutshell. Now the upstairs unfortunately is nowhere near as Christmassy as downstairs. So on the stairs we have this little candelabra with baubles on it. We have a giant creepy Santa made of wood. Because uh, who doesn't like a really skinny scary Santa uh, just living in your house? Uh, that's the landing. It's another long room but it's a lot thinner than the one downstairs. This is my room which uh, if you've watched any of these videos you've definitely, definitely seen before. Um, in there we have Sam's room. We're not going to go in there because it's Sam's. Uh, in, that's the wrong light switch. Uh, I haven't been here in ages, I don't know how all the light switch work. This is mum's and dad's room, which is very nice. It's very open and spacious. They've put up some cool pictures, which I haven't seen before. Uh, it's nice, we've got a rocking horse called Speedy. Um, <laughs> it's all looking very, look at all that, look at all that wrapping paper. How many presents are we getting? Or how big are the presents? They've got an ensuite. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> So, yeah, um, this is just a stupid idea, but I needed something to talk about, something to film. We have an airing cupboard. Uh, we have a, a mirror. mirror. Oh, that's that's weird. What happens if I do... Oh, my God. That's not really working because the camera's not quite on the screen. I don't know. I don't know how to fix that. Uh, never mind. But we've also got mine and Sam's bathroom, which is very nice. It's got some creepy uh, clowns some reason because that's Christmas Eve those are our Christmas decorations they're not normally there um, and a bath come shower well not come shower that sounds absolutely disgusting very nicely decorated uh, very nice blue and and like creamy orange but when it comes to the floor don't like that Candine is nice but not that kind of Candine and finally we have Ollie's bedroom which is looking a bit empty I forgot he takes his TV to uni with him but this is Ollie's room, which I'm allowed to show you because it's not dirty like Sam's. Uh, he has an ensuite because he's the oldest. However, I'm the biggest, so I don't really find this fair. But oh, well, I don't really have a say in this house because I barely live here. Anyway, that's that concludes my very slightly Christmassy house tour. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, uh, make sure to leave a like, rate, and comment down below. Subscribe that we can see every single day of my life, or at least see me every single day. Uh, and all the cool shit that I get up to, and I'll see you guys very soon. Uh, until then, stay. What's a uh, Christmassy word beginning with S? Uh, stay. Silver, like this bauble's definitely gold. <laughs> um, yeah, stay silver and say silver bells. Uh, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.